In this part 2 video, we're going to show the details that uh, Mutas al Saja used uh, to write his uh, neat application to search for the offenses. So the first thing that we need to do is use two uh, uh, API calls. One is to retrieve the list of all the uh, offenses that exist uh, in, in, the cura in his curator system in Poland. Uh, and the other one is uh, to get the specific details, that this is the first uh, uh, API, the, the, the next one is to get the details of a particular offense that you are looking for. Because remember, in his, in his uh, uh, little app, you can specify a particular offense that you are looking for, you know, uh, any uh, details of the offense, but also remember that in the events that are uh, that form part of this offense, you can look into the payload. So you need to retrieve also all the events and we'll do those after we get uh, the, the particular offenses, we are going to be using these uh, 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 AQL searches to execute a search, uh, wait for the search to be completed to make sure that the results are back and then look for the results of that particular search. So let's start by retrieving the the list of offenses and all what, what we are doing from the documentation and again just to make sure that you know from, from your, your curator console all you need to do is put the this the IP address of your console slash API underscore doc to access the, the online documentation. And from it, all you need to do is actually, this is where we're going to be getting the list of the offenses. And, and here's all the description, as usual, 200 if the request is, is uh, OK. And these are the details of it. And in underneath here, there are the parameters that you need. Uh, and it will specify if any one of those are required. In this particular case, none of them are. So all we need, need to do is actually re, you know, click in here and try it out, and we get those results is that easy let's now do that closer to our programming i'm using here a restful client um, here on my mac and all what i'm doing is i'm putting here on the url the same path as we showed before uh, and this is a security token that we need to get this is for the authentication this is in order to make sure that no one can actually query what curator has you need a token and you specify that by specifying this parameter sec in capital uh, an uppercase and then specify the value where do you get that particular uh, authentication token so you go into the admin console and here on their authorized services you need to actually uh, this is the one that Mutas actually already created, but if you need one, you can actually click on this button to add uh, one. So you copy that and you paste it into your uh, RESTful client. One little uh, detail, and I also mentioned this in the API video I made uh, two years ago, is that in whatever client you're using uh, to uh, execute the, uh, the, the API calls, uh, you need to specify that if you are using a self-signed certificate, which is my case, you need to allow the tool to work with self-signed certificates, uh, uh, SSL certificates, otherwise uh, you, you get some failures in here. So again, this is the way you, you actually go around. Uh, this is going to be a GET. When you send the API uh, request, you get the same results as you saw on your search. So most of the subsequent calls, I'm going to make them only from the actual documentation, the tryout on the documentation, and, and not from the RESTful client. So now we have all the lists of all the specific uh, offenses. But now let's say that we want to look for a particular offense. Say that we want to look for offense uh, 116, for example. So all you need to do here is actually, as we did before, Notice that now a parameter is required, and the parameter is required is precisely the integer number of the offense you're looking. So let's say that you are looking for offense 116. So you click here 
try out and bang you get all the details for that particular offense similar if you were here on the console and you go here on offenses and let's look for offense 116 let me actually sort them out uh, to find it uh, easily it's on the second page the last uh, so here's the, the offense uh, 116 but I was unlucky that was the last one actually a faster much faster way of actually doing is to sort them in the reverse order since I chose uh, just the first one and uh, so if I just uh, sort them by reverse order I, I find it uh, right there so again we, we retrieve all the offenses we retrieve all the details of one offense now we want to do some uh, SQL queries because now we want to retrieve all the events that are associated to a particular offense. So let's say that we are retrieving all these, you know, uh, eight, uh, 581 events that belong to that particular offense. And when I click in here, let me bring that uh, screen here. These are the, the events that um, um, I look forward to uh, to retrieve. Now the SQL query I, I need to launch to see the all the events that belong to a particular uh, offense looks like this. You know, select all the events where the uh, offense number is 116 between this particular time and that particular time. So when you click uh, search here from the actual uh, console, you get all those uh, all those events. Now let's do it from the actual documentation for to try out the API. So what we need to do is actually post, it's not a get, we need to post uh, the actual query. So let me paste it in here. This is the same query as we saw uh, before. Let me actually go back for you to actually see it. Uh, it is actually offense 116. And uh, we're just gonna execute it from here. And the result that we get back, the result code is 201, which is good because that means that the query has been submitted. Remember in the documentation it reads here, was successfully created. So now we need to, uh, out of the uh, actual query, we need to make sure that the, that the query f uh, finished uh, okay. We simply do that by looking in the response. Uh, we are given here a search ID, and that's what we need to actually use to, let me copy that string, and that's what we need to actually use to retrieve the status of the search. Remember, if we are doing this interactively, we don't need to do any of that. But if we are running a program, we need to make sure that the program waits until the results of that search comes back, because the search might may, may take, uh, you know, one minute, two minutes, uh, depending on the of the amount of data you are uh, searching upon. Just to show quickly from the RESTful client, I mean, you specify Arial searches, it's a post, query expression, and you put the same, I copy-paste uh, from the actual uh, curator console, I pasted uh, the same uh, the same query, I send the request, and I said, you know, it's been created. Good. Now from the same place, we that go down to search ID, and we specify that unique uh, search ID that we got from when we submitted the, the actual request, and we get 200, meaning that's good. The responses are back. Now, now we need to do is retrieve 
those results and to retrieve the result is very similar as before with the same uh, search ID number we execute that and we get all those gazillion number of e events in here same uh, the, that we saw from the console and now what you need to do on your program is to parse the information